Now there's a uh, another new poll out that shows some trouble for Hillary Clinton. Now uh, this is uh, a new poll from the NBC Wall Street Journal Marist, and uh, this poll shows the gap between Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders starting to really close in two of the first caucus states. Uh, now that's of course Iowa and New Hampshire. So let's break down the numbers here. Now in Iowa, Hillary Clinton is still leading, but by a by by about three points, of uh, 48% to 45% Senator Sanders. However, in New Hampshire, Bernie Sanders is currently leading at 50 to 46%. So it is very close in both states. Now that margin is actually smaller than a recent Fox News survey in which Senator Sanders led Hillary Clinton by 13 points. Damn. That's a commanding lead. That's about... Okay, so let's put it in context here. Now, when people put up the polls where it shows that Bernie Sanders is absolutely crushing Donald Trump by double digits, here you have another Fox News poll, and yes, I realize, Fox News poll, right, showing that Senator Sanders is crushing Hillary by 13 points. Man, why aren't people saying that that's a blowout? Why aren't all the different... Uh, media organizations calling that a blowout? It's a good question, right? Now, this survey also finds that Senator Sanders has got a lot of support from independent voters. And because of that, outperforms Hillary Clinton in hypothetical general election matchups in both states among registered voters. That's very important. Registered voters. These aren't just regular people off the street. They're more likely to vote in a primary. Now, once again, uh, in New Hampshire, when he's put up against the different um, Republican contenders that might be the nominee, right? That includes uh, Donald Trump, Ted Cruz, and Marco Rubio. Well, Senator Sanders beats all three in, in, in New Hampshire. In Iowa, he still beats Donald Trump and Ted Cruz, but ties with Marco Rubio, which is very interesting. So look at that. Here comes Senator Sanders. Iowa and New Hampshire are two, of course, the three early states. Uh, and it's these states are the states that Senator Sanders needs to win to really kind of pick up this momentum nationally. Now, the first two, first two, Iowa and New Hampshire, that would be a definite boost to momentum. Now, South Carolina... South Carolina would be huge as well, but man, he faces a huge uphill battle. Hillary Clinton is kind of doing really well. Not just doing really well, she's crushing it, as much as I'm loath to say it. She's got about 40 points on Senator Sanders, according to Real Clear Politics. However, I wouldn't count out Senator Sanders. Especially if he wins both Iowa and New Hampshire, if he could do that, he would pick up momentum to be able to go into South Carolina with strength. And that momentum could really, really, really help. Could help pick up South Carolina. I think the biggest problem facing Senator Sanders is his name recognition. Once people find out who he is, what he stands for, and his consistency on the issues, I think a lot of people tend to turn over from Hillary Clinton over to Bernie Sanders. And if that happens in South Carolina, whew, Hillary Clinton might just need some water because she's getting burned.